Okay guys, so this isn't even really like a video of like me gaming or whatever. It's not a skit. It's not anything like that. This is for all the gamers out there that have a PlayStation 4, okay? Recently, my friend and I, Ian, we, uh, we got banned or suspended, I guess. Um, he didn't get an email about it, but I did. And basically the email said that I got suspended due to a chargeback. And what that means is that... Um, so let's say we have a debit card or PayPal or something on our PlayStation, right? And so when we use that um, and the card holder doesn't realize, like they don't know why uh, they were charged for that on PlayStation, they can go to their bank and dispute that, meaning like they'll reverse it, you know, and it's like they'll kind of cancel it out. And if you do that, that actually goes against, I think, um, I don't know if it goes against the policies on PlayStation, but you'll get banned for it. So don't, I mean, if it happens, well, this is why I'm making this video right here. So basically, what's going to happen is you'll get an email, most likely, something like that. Hopefully, an email, or maybe SMS, text message, I don't know. And they'll tell you that you got suspended for a chargeback, and then they'll give you a link to follow, so that way you can um, restore your access to your account. So I did this about two or three times. Um, I was just so upset and confused i'm like why is this even happening to ian and i this is so un unfair like i just want to play my playstation so i just i was okay my first tip is be persistent keep sending in as many things as you can so that way they'll notice you eventually um yesterday they finally noticed me and they sent me an email so honestly yeah just keep doing that keep being persistent and then you'll get to this next step now in this next step they will most likely tell you um, the debt that you owe or like the debt, I don't know, uh, an amount that you have to pay back. Um, so the amount I had to pay was $20 and so they will give you a link or something to go to the PlayStation store or something then you can click, uh, let's say you owe $10 so you can click $10 and then it'll take you to GameStop, Amazon, whatever, you purchase it there you get your voucher code and then you go back to the original thing and what I mean by original thing is um there's a there's another link that you go to where you submit your code um, and the code is for the PlayStation money so that way you pay what it is that you owe so you get the code from the card that you bought you go to that link where you submit the code you put in all of your info um, you put in the voucher code and then down below it'll tell you um it'll tell you to put in the price that that voucher voucher code is worth but, uh, sorry um and then from there you just submit it so i submitted it um that's as far as i've gotten actually but after that what should happen is you'll just um you'll get an email right so they'll contact you probably through email and they'll say, hey, your uh, thing is like, your suspension is done, you can play your games again, you can have your account back. So that's what I'm waiting on right now, but I thought I would let you guys know, anybody that needs help with this, thought I would let you know because, oh my gosh, I've been like doing my own research and it's just such a pain in the butt, you know? It really, it's just such a inconvenience, so. I'm sorry for all of you that have to experience this. I hope this helped. Um, you don't have to like or subscribe subscribe or anything. I'm just, this is simply just a tool for you guys to use so you know what to do. Um, these are just kind of my tips and whatever. So yeah, just do all that stuff I told you and you should be golden. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I guess if you watch my channel, like it if you want. I don't know. Just, all right. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.